Hello ladies and gentlemen, uh, so today I'll be reviewing uh, the Orion Sky Scanner 100mm astronomical telescope. So this is a Newtonian telescope, um, it's a pretty simple design. Um, I, I ordered, about, ordered it about a month ago uh, from Amazon uh, and I've been using it since then and I'm overall I'm pretty happy with uh, this performance. So I'll first describe what, uh, what this is and how it works. So this is um, a dust cover. It's supposed to keep out dust from getting into the tube of the telescope and you can see there's a, a mirror, it's primary mirror in the back. Uh, because, because this is there, there's no, no covering um, for the circle, so it's an open tube uh, and it, will, it does need, um, um, so it does require some maintenance, so you need to make sure that you know, dust is um, kept outside. Although overall the dust does not have a lot of impact on uh, the performance of the telescope, but over time, it's obviously not a good thing. Uh, besides, you cannot clean the telescope by yourself. Uh, Orion, uh, the company that makes these telescopes, recommends that if you want to have the mirror cleaned, you have to send it back to them. Um, if you try to clean it yourself, you're most, most likely going to damage the mirror. Okay, um, so this is the... So, um, so when you're using the telescope, then obviously the dust cover has to come off. Otherwise, for most of the time, it should uh, it should be um, uh, it should stay on. Uh, so this is the place where uh, you know the eyepieces go. So this is one of the eyepieces that comes with the telescope. It's a 20 millimeter eyepiece. The other one that comes is um, that comes in the box with the telescope is this 10 millimeter 10 millimeter eyepiece. So, and this telescope has uh, a focal length of 400 millimeters. So, a 10 millimeter eyepiece gives you a 40x magnification, and uh, a 20 millimeter eyepiece gives you uh, a 20x magnification. Now, so this magnification doesn't uh, look very large, it doesn't appear to be very impressive, but still, it's enough to resolve. Um, details of planets like Saturn and Jupiter. And you can see rings of Saturn with, uh, with this 10, 10 millimeter eyepiece. And you can also um, you see uh, one of the moons of Saturn. You can also see four moons of Jupiter with the, uh, with the 10 millimeter eyepiece. And pretty easy. Uh, you can see Andromeda Galaxy. And that's, these are the things that I've already tried um, over the past month uh, with this telescope. You can see the Andromeda galaxy very nicely, very easily with the, with the 20 millimeter eyepiece. So um, what? And then this is a, this is a spotting scope. It's supposed to help you, you know, point the telescope towards a planet or a star that you want to look at. But um, honestly, I haven't found it to be really useful. You don't really need it because it's again, it's a it's a small tabletop telescope. Um, it's very really easy to point. You, just need to put it on the table and then it's pretty steady, it doesn't really shake um, and it's very easy to use. And so this is you know, the main advantage. Other than that, you know, it's a very small, lightweight, very portable telescope. So the weight would be about um, one, one, one and a half kilograms. And it also travels very well. Uh, actually, my brother brought, bought it you know, in the US and then brought it all the way back to Pakistan on an airplane. Um, and apparently, it's, uh, I've checked its collimation and alignments. Uh, it's still uh, pretty fine. Now, uh, finally, um, when you're trying to buy your first telescope, especially, um, so this was my first telescope, uh, what you're really worried about is um, what you're actually going to be able to see with your telescope, especially if, you're, if it's a cheap telescope like this one. So this one costs uh, about $100. Um, so what you can see is um, so another so so I'll try to explain what what you can actually see with it. Um, so uh, so I ordered an additional eyepiece with it because um, I realized you know a 40x magnification Saturn would look still pretty look uh, really really small. So I ordered another additional eyepiece, um, a four millimeter eyepiece, which is which is this one. Uh, so with the 4mm eyepiece, you get a magnification of 100x. Um, that's uh, very useful. And at that magnification, um, Saturn would look like um, the size of your fingernail, uh, of your thumbnail, if you, you know, 
hold your, hold your own like that, then Saturn would look roughly the size of your thumbnail. Um, it would, you can clearly, you would be able to clearly, clearly see that it's a little ball with a, with a nice little ring around it. Similarly, Jupiter looks again roughly the same size, the size of your thumbnail, uh, if you hold out your arm like that. Uh, you can clearly see um, moons of Jupiter, and if the night and the sky is really clear, uh, and if you look really carefully and closely, you can also make out um, you know, hints of uh, you know, some of the bands on Jupiter. So that's uh, pretty much what you can actually see. Um, if you try to go to any higher uh, any higher magnifications, unless um, I, I don't think it, this telescope would do very well. Uh, and even, uh, regardless of you know the eyepieces, in any case, the useful magnification uh, of a telescope is usually um, the way you can calculate how much useful magnification you can actually get from a telescope is to multiply the aperture in millimeters with two. So this is um, a ten. Mil uh, this is a um, a hundred millimeter uh, aperture telescope. So the useful magnification, maximum useful magnification, won't be more than two hundred x. Um, so if you're trying to, you know, buy eyepieces or insert Barlow lens into it, and you're know, trying to get much more magnification, then you're only you you won't probably be able to see much. I mean, the image will become bigger, but be very blurry, and you won't be able to make out any details. So the useful magnification with a telescope like this, I don't think, is more than, you know. A 140x or 130. Now, there is one more detail that I want to add is um, that if you're trying, to, if you're planning to use this telescope for astrophotography, then this is not the telescope for you. Because um, um, in my experience, I ordered, you know, so I ordered along with the telescope, uh, you know, this um, this teething and T adapter. So these are equipment that, that, that help you fit your DSLR camera um, with your telescope. But the problem with, with the, the Orion Sky Scanner is that if you look at the assembly, you know this part where the focusing tube is, uh, this is too high. And what, what the problem that you face is if you put your camera um, with, you know, attach your camera to the TD and the adapter and then put it on top of it, the focuser tube cannot get closer enough to the telescope to get your camera in focus. So, uh, if you're planning to do astrophotography using the Orion Sky Scanner 100 and a DSLR camera, then that's not going to work unless you find a way of you know changing this assembly, uh, this you know this plastic piece over there, or you know somehow cutting it off to make it shorter. So that's not going to work. What can work is if you use um, a little a little web camera. Um, so you can find these cameras on the internet. Some of them are very expensive. Some of them are not very expensive. But that would work. But a DSLR attached to um, to this particular telescope um, is probably not going to work very well. Okay, so I will also attach. I will also include some of the images that I did manage to take um, with this telescope um, uh, and I hope to see you again. Thank you.